This is Cast of Wonders, the young adult fiction podcast featuring stories of the fantastic. Welcome. Episode 282 for December 24th, 2017. Our story this week is Dreidel of Dread, the very Cthulhu Hanukkah by Alex Schwartzman, originally published in Galaxy's Edge in their September-October 2015 issue. Alex Schwartzman is a writer, translator, and game designer from Brooklyn, New York. Over 90 of his short stories have appeared in Nature, Galaxy's Edge, Intergalactic Medicine Show, and many other magazines and anthologies. He won the 2014 WSFA Small Press Award for Short Fiction and was a finalist for the 2015 and 2017 Canopus Awards for Excellence in Interstellar Fiction. He's the editor of the Unidentified Funny Objects annual anthology series of humorous science fiction and fantasy. And his collection, Explaining Cthulhu to Grandma and Other Stories, as well as his steampunk humor novella, H.G. Wells' Secret Agent, were both published in 2015. We'll have a link for you to his website and Twitter account in the show notes. And now we've a tale to tell. Dreidel of Dread, The Very Cthulhu Hanukkah, by Alex Schwartzman. Twas the night before Hanukkah, and all through the planet, not a creature was stirring, except for the elder god Cthulhu, who was waking up from his eons-long slumber. And as the terrible creature awakened in the city of Raleigh, deep beneath the Pacific Ocean, and wiped drool from its face tentacles, all the usual signs heralded the upcoming apocalypse in the outside world. Mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together, and cable repairmen arriving to their appointments within the designated three-hour window. This will not do, said Hanukkah Henry. I will not have the world ending on my watch, not during the Festival of Lights. This sounds like a serious problem, said Henry's father, the brain surgeon, at the dinner table after they lit the menorah. Maybe let the guy in the red suit handle it? Hanukkah Henry Rabinovitz bristled at the mention of Nick. Henry lived in his parents' basement and put up with the litany of complaints from his mother by day while trying to launch his chosen career of spreading the Hanukkah cheer by night. Nick, on the other hand, lived in a mansion and dated supermodels and rode jet skis, and everyone inexplicably loved him despite his propensity for breaking and entering into people's homes via their chimneys. Henry pushed the matzo ball in his soup around with a spoon. Absolutely not, Dad. Nick already has the best movies and songs and holiday specials, and all the pretty ladies wanting to sit on his lap. All Hanukkah has is that terrible Adam Sandler song. We need a great modern Hanukkah story, and averting the apocalypse would do nicely. I don't know, said his father. This seems an awful lot like a Christmas yarn to me. The very Cthulhu Christmas even sounds like a better alliteration than the very Cthulhu Hanukkah. I've been reading about this Cthulhu, said Henry's mother. With his death cultists and his bad temper and his hideous face, he sounds just like Bertha Shainson from the temple. And what's with the irrelevance of humanity? My husband, the brain surgeon, is very important. And my son, the Schlimazel, well, he could be important one day, too. Still, going to an underwater city alone at night sounds dangerous. Henry steeled himself against his mother's usual monologue aimed at making him stay home. But she surprised him. You go out there and you make us proud, son. Just don't forget to wear a hat. And some mittens. Feeling very well clamped, Henry put on his blue and white robe and set out for the South Pacific. He rounded up a group of Shoggoths and quickly resolved their human resource problem, or rather, their Shoggoth resources problem, by putting the red-nosed Shoggoth in charge, because nothing works better than elevating the employee no one likes to mid-level management. The subdued Shoggoths pulled his 84 Cadillac, and he made it to the green slimy vaults of Raleigh in no time. He walked through the chilly cavernous halls of the corpse city and was very glad to have listened to his mother and brought his hat. Finally, 
he was face to face with Cthulhu. Not cool, he told the Elder God. Initiating an apocalypse on the first night of Hanukkah? Between that and H.P. Lovecraft's well-documented views, people might draw certain conclusions. What? It's not like that, said Cthulhu. I am a progressive and forward-thinking being, and I am disdainful of all of humanity equally. Besides, I don't even feel like destroying anyone just now. I'd rather go back to sleep, but the neighborhood got so noisy with Godzilla and those kaiju from the Pacific Rim gallivanting about, and I'm bored. Do you know how hard it is to get ESPN down here? I can keep you entertained, said Hanukkah Henry. We can spin the dreidel. He withdrew the four-sided spinning top from his pocket. I don't know, said Cthulhu, examining the dreidel. Gods aren't supposed to play dice with the universe. Nothing so dramatic, said Henry. We can play for this Hanukkah guilt. He produced a bag of chocolate coins. It was a Hanukkah miracle. The game most people can't tolerate for more than 20 minutes at a time lasted for eight days and eight nights until Cthulhu was bored back into deep sleep. Hanukkah Henry saved everyone and became a celebrity. Yet he never let the fame and fortune go to his head. The world was now his oyster, but Henry still kept kosher. From all of us at Cast of Wonders to all of you, we wish you the happiest of holidays. Cast of Wonders relies on your donations to pay our authors, our staff, and our narrators, and to bring you the best in young adult audio fiction week after week. If you've enjoyed the story, please consider making a donation. Our shiny new website has links to Patreon and PayPal, as well as a few other options. Every single donation really makes a difference. You can donate once, or better yet, set up a reoccurring subscription every month or even every year. It's the easiest way out there to get a head start on your holiday shopping. You can share your appreciation for the story by leaving it and us a review on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please share it with your friends and family, and come discuss it with us on the EA Forum, forum forum.escapeartists.net. We're at Cast of Wonders on Twitter. Come and say hello. Cast of Wonders is a production of Escape Artists Incorporated and is brought to you by the creative team of assistant editors Danny Daly and Catherine Inskip. Our associate editors are Amy Brennan, Alexis Goebel, Andrew Kim, Aiken Patel, Susie Rodriguez, Muddy Schleider, Chris Tang, and Xander Simon. Audio production is by Jeremy Carter, and I remain, as always, your humble editor and host, Marguerite Kenner. Our episodes are released under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. That means you can listen, download, and share the episode any way you like, but you can't change it or sell it. Check our legal page for more details. Our theme music is Appeal to Heavens by Alexei Nov. It's available from Promo DJ or his Facebook page. Thanks for listening.